Hello and welcome to the ninth round of the 2016 PCC Light Series season here at the Richmond International Speedway. Qualifying on the pole is championship leader Sam Burkhart with Justin King having a strong run this season on his outside, Dustin Oliver and James Beverly in row number two. Zach Meyer occupies fifth place and was in the PCC Trucks race earlier today when this accident happened between Vinny LaBeouf and Isaac Michaels. Many trucks getting involved and Michaels goes barrel rolling down the track into turn number three, gets hit by Zachary Fitzwater there. He would continue on and would be uninjured, but that was a huge accident that occurred in the Trucks race, which was won by Vinny LaBeouf in the 333. Uh, going through the field, uh, there's Damon Jones and Matt Beck. Ron Yave has a new sponsor this week on that number 8 car. Uh, the whole Grand Strand Racing team actually picked up a new sponsor in Drive, which is a uh, ride-sharing app. Uh, there's Josiah Hofacker in row 13. As we go deeper in the field, Gabriel Messina did not put very good times in in uh, practice. He's been well off the pace, and I'm surprised he managed to get that far up the grid. Uh, Casey Lester and the AJ Murphy team struggled in qualifying mightily. Uh, Murphy put his truck fourth in the truck uh, qualifying, but unfortunately not doing well here today, and Tauger Racing Unit locks out the back row as usual. And with that, Sam Burkhart leads the field to the green flag, getting a good jump over Justin King there on the outside. Dustin Oliver trying to follow him past, but Sam uh, Burkhart starting to pull away. Uh, Zach Meyer making a move to the inside, making it three wide for second place, and they clear Justin King, but these cars are only topping out at 110 miles per hour. So this is going to be completely different than any Richmond race you've ever seen before. Ryan Pritchard on lap number two is slow, gearbox problems hampering the 964. He's going to pull that car into the pits and lose several laps in the process. Ron Yave's new sponsor, uh, that team desperately needs some financial... Uh, financial throughput and this is definitely going to help their chances to maintain a spot in the light series. Going crazy up front here with Jeff Fisher pushing up into Lucien Ekdal Jr. sending four cars. Oh, we're making contact still. That's Greg Maddox, Lucien Ekdal Jr., James Beverly now going for the lead and we're three and four wide in this lead pack. Greg Maddox clips the apron there and uh, caution lights are on. We're going to take a look and see what happened here with Greg Maddox. He hits the apron and trying to get back up. He clips a weeper there and turn number three gets sideways. Uh, that's JC Carpenter involved. We got many cars spinning. Denny Adams, Bluto Belushi, Alex Constantine, Dima Van Hall's around, Matt Tauger. Looks like Dean Wormer's got damage. Uh, Alex Posington and several others involved in turn number uh, four. And Patrick O'Hannigan clips the pit wall. What was that about? JC Carpenter's out of it early on already. We're battling for the lead after the restart. Looks like uh, Roma Carpont gets into Damon Jones there battling for the lead. Jeff Fisher is still up there despite spinning, and we're four wide for second place. Look at this. This is some... Oh, five wide even. Oh, we're getting pushed up into the wall there with Dustin Oliver, and these guys are just beating and banging. They don't care. They're going 110 miles per hour. They can do whatever they want. It's not like they're going to, you know, crash super hard when they hit the wall. So we're seeing this beaten and banging racing here, uh, similar to what we've seen at some of the other tracks. Roman Carpon, oh, that's four wide, and he's going to get shoved into the wall. That's going to do a lot of damage to the rear end of that 919 car, and he's going to fall off the pace and start losing spots here. Uh, that was Ron Yave who got into him. Uh, looks like Damon Jones got a bit of damage there too, but Ron Yave is going to try to bring that car into the pits. Slide and uh, that's going to take him out of the race. There must be a weeper there or something where cars are just breaking loose. And uh, Jeff Fisher coming back to the caution. Tiffany Matthews goes around, collects Casey Lester and Alex Pausington as uh, that weeper is just wreaking havoc on some of the cars there. Uh, exiting turn number four, Lucien Ekdal Jr. made an unscheduled pit stop and he's four laps down now, uh, trying to battle to get one of them back and uh, he's going to be in the middle of a three-wide sandwich. Dustin Oliver spins him, and that's going to be caution number four on lap 33, pushes Matt Beck into the wall. Uh, we've got a couple more cars spinning back there, trying to avoid. That's uh, J.F. Davila. I believe I saw uh, Lucy Nectal Jr. back there. Matt Tauger, in all of this mess, has moved up into the top ten. This is easily his best run of the year, and he has actually showed some speed despite qualifying on the back row, and so has Trek Tauger, who... Uh, is actually stuck on the outside of this train, and so he's going to lose a bunch of positions. But at the start of this shot, he was in the top 10. So uh, Tauger Racing Unit really bring out all the stops, and this is looking to be their best combined result of the season. Uh, Zach Meyer continuing to lead 
He, uh, he had a very strong run in the truck race earlier today, but unfortunately luck did not go his way, and he finished one lap down. He made an unscheduled pit stop in that race. Uh, Dima Van Hall there in second, having a strong run as well, and Matt Tauger on the inside. Uh, Jeff Fisher still hanging around despite being involved in multiple incidents in that 27 car, and Dustin Oliver on the outside. This pack is broken away, and uh, they're four wide for the lead right now. Looks like Matt Tauger's going to push up just a little bit, and Dima Van Hall and Zach Meyer are going to go into the wall and lose a little bit of ground, but they still should be able to hang on to this lead pack because uh, they're still racing very hard. Sam Burkhart spun out under that last caution. He lost quite a bit of positions. He's down in uh, 14th right now. This is... Uh, he's gaining spots, but if, he, uh, if the race ends now... Oh, well, looks like that doesn't really matter because he's working his way through the field very quickly. Uh, this is actually the battle for the lead as he uses the lapper of Casey Lester to get around people. And uh, Kelly Thomas is going to try and pounce now in the 72 car. Uh, three wide with uh, Matt Tauger there. Uh, Fergal Sheedy is now moving up into the lead. And uh, Matt Tauger is in fourth place. So a very strong showing for Matt Tauger. And he could win this thing despite being absolutely nowhere all season. Uh, the Tauger Racing Unit uh, has been by far the worst team in the uh, Lights Paddock. And he's going for second place trying to pass Sam Burkhart. So a huge showing for this number 60 car. And now, with just less than 10 laps to go, Matt Tauger is three wide for the lead with Alex Plausington and Sheedy, and he's bouncing off both of them. They're not giving him much room, and I don't think he's too accustomed to being up here this far. And now we're four wide. Sheedy got pushed out of line, so now it's Thomas and Constantine on the bottom. Uh, Thomas pushing up into... and that's a caution. Fergal Sheedy gets spun around there by Matt Tauger, just had nowhere to go. And he's going to get put into the inside wall there by Sam Burkhart, taking a look at this. Uh, Thomas just pushed up into Tauger, and uh, Sheedy was caught between a car and the wall. So there he goes into the inside wall. He's going to continue on without too much damage. But now less than five minutes to go. Uh, we've got Zach Meyer up front, and that's, uh, that's Isaac Parsons in second place. And this is looking to be his best showing of the season. Kelly Thomas there making a move for third place, and Isaac Parsons is going to take the lead on the inside of Zach Meyer, who I think really wants to win this one. He was kind of robbed uh, in the truck race. He had a very strong showing, but unfortunately did not seal the deal. And we're three wide for the lead now. Looks like Thomas is going to take the lead with help from Beck and Burkhardt on the bottom. And uh, this, this battle for the lead is really heating up. Look at this pack here. We've got uh, Meyer on the bottom, there's Hall, and we're focused on Constantine right now, who's having a great run as well. His Turbo Sports team is not uh, looking so great in the points. And that is just a huge pack of cars. Jeff Fisher pushes up a little bit into Constantine. Four wide situation. He goes around, get hooks by, gets uh, hooked by Dustin Oliver there. Beck gets a bit of front end damage. And uh, this caution is going to come up with just a couple minutes left. And coming back to the caution, Dustin Oliver catches that weeper and spins out in front of the field. And there's Kelly Thomas getting a bunch of damage on the front of that 72 car. Uh, looks like we're going to have to go to an overtime dash. Carter Fitzgerald and Isaac Parsons are the front two as we take the green flag in this overtime dash. That's Dima Van Hall in, in uh, third place, but Zach Myers making a look on the inside. He's going to take that position. Isaac Parsons takes the lead, but coming out of turn number two... On the bottom there, Zach Meyer making a move into turn number three, and he's going to take the lead from Isaac Parsons coming around. Alex Pausington might be able to make a move coming out of turn number four, but it's not going to be enough. Zach Meyer will win at Richmond. Alex Pausington hung on to finish in second place. Sam Burkhart, the championship leader, continues to build on his points lead by finishing in third place. Isaac Parsons gets his best run of the year, if I'm not mistaken. Same thing with Carter Fitzgerald. Dima Van Hall and... Matt Tauger all have amazing showings, especially Matt Tauger, who's been off the pace pretty much all year. Dustin Oliver, despite spinning, uh, coming to the overtime dash, still managed to finish in 8th place. Alex Constantine Fergal Sheedy, despite hanging the inside wall, brings home a top 10. Damon Jones, Jeff Fisher, who was involved in multiple incidents, comes home in 12th place. Matt Beck, uh, AJ Murphy qualified near the back, but managed to work his way up to 14th. Kelly Thomas, James Beverly... Austin Sanders makes it a double top 20 for Turbo Sports. Tiffany Matthews makes it a double top 20 for Ryan Matthews Racing. And Trek Tauger brings it home in 19th with the best combined result for Tauger Racing Unit. 
and Casey Lester finished one lap down in the 29 car despite being involved in several incidents and accumulating some damage throughout the race. Taking a look at the points now, Sam Burkhart now holds a 51 point lead over his teammate Dustin Oliver. Uh, that is more than a one race lead in the points. Matt Beck in third having a very strong showing but way back from the top two. Justin King, Casey Lester having a good year. Uh, Lenore Scurry, who is uh, way off the pace today, is uh, in 6th place in the standings. Lucy Nectal Jr. had a few problems today and fell down to 7th. Damon Jones, Jeff Fisher, and Greg Maddox round out the top 10. James Beverly, who's been hopping between the 34 and the 43 all year in 11th place. Carter Fitzgerald, with her strong showing, moves up to 12th. Same thing with Isaac Parsons in 13th. Denny Adams, uh, Alex Pausington, Kelly Thomas, Daniel Bouchard there. Uh, in 17th place, having a decent year. Alex Constantine moves up in the top 20. Uh, Josiah Hofacker and Roman Carpont round out the top 20.